Hello and welcome. I'm going to share with you today a few pieces of uh, portable rock art and maybe a couple tools and a few cool rocks. So let's see where we want to start. Uh, I'll start out with this uh, because basically I believe it's some type of tool. Maybe an inch and a half long. Maybe a little bit longer. It's like a jasper or iron type of stone. It has a little weight to it. Definitely worked. Again, uh, like I'm then going to mention in a couple of my videos, I'm not going to tell you something's worked for sure unless I really feel it is like 100%. And so if you can't see it on your end, it's probably because I'm not doing a good job showing it to you. Like this piece is hard to see. I think it's just a cool rock. But you can see the shell indentations in the stone. Hopefully. Okay. Okay, this has been worked and this is a piece that someone may look like look at and say, okay, that's just the rock. And no, it's not. It's very old, very worn. On your older stones, they lose all those obvious surface images unless you kind of have it in your hand and you take a closer look at it. And I have a few with better detail that I can compare it to and tell that, yes, it is a work piece. Some remnants of where the, the mouth was an eye right along the neckline just very old and again rock by definition a, a, a real rock is very old but this is a much older piece than maybe a lot of the ones of this type that I've seen And again, I start to see images, but I kind of start to see images and everything pretty much. These crystal tools, and again, this is rock art, and there are faces in it. It's just hard to show with the crystal. I have a few of them. And you have to really, really hit the right light for someone to see it. Which sometimes ask me, tell, or rather I, I ask, what other uses were there for these carvings? Because a lot of them aren't super obvious. And you really have to be in the right light to see a lot of them. This one I can start to pull out images with. It's definitely worked. I mean, I can feel it as well as see it. Okay, might give you a little bit better image. And here, there, here. Here, here's this one. Probably won't be able to make out at all. You can just see what has a different depth of cut. Even in person, it's hard to make make out. On the ends, there's like the, the shapes of, say, a ram or a sheep or some animal of, of that ilk. But just very hard to make out. One of those, I can see someone having a hard time to see the images. But again, having it in person, I can see it. I can feel them. I have that advantage. But this piece is worked. 
hard to see but worked. As I find better ways of showing them, you know, I'll pull them back out and show them to you again. As I find ways of seeing it better. Beautiful stone though, very dark, dark crystal. Which actually when I think I put my gem tester on it, tested in the topaz range. Here's another. Nice crystal, but again, I can feel the edgy the the etching the etching in it. Here's the mouth. Under this light, it's hard to show you. That's why as I see better lighting with something or something shows better on another day, I'll bring it back. But, uh, it's just pretty cool stone. I like it. A lot of translucency to it. Mm, nice stone. A lot of my videos, I'll hold things and uh, I get images. This one, I start to get a lot of images. Uh, maybe some of you out there do too. Uh, it's a nice scene that I see. I can't tell you what you're supposed to see. It's something that you would see if you can. And again, never let anybody tell you what to see, really, or what you don't see. As I said in the other video, I'd rather believe my lion eyes than somebody else's half truth. But actually, I do see certain images and things that pop up, reappear, change. Hopefully, it did too. I don't want to stay on it too long. Probably natural, low probability worked. Uh, this one I think is very old. Again, another one I'm repeating just to show, it's like a green crystal. But again, here's your face, here's your nose. There's the helmet. You have an eye right here on the side and another one over here and if you take it and flip it over in the traditional sense of it your portable rock art there's another worn face eye, eye, nose, mouth And I'll repeat again in this video, I use the term portable rock art very literally as rock that's small enough to carry around that's been turned into art. So that way I don't define necessarily an effigy for an am from an amulet from our more classic portable rock art with the faces, happy, sad, old, young. This piece is more along the lines of more classic portable rock art, or what people call portable rock art, more often than not. Turn back over. There's your eye. Here's a carving here. 
nice heavy piece about two inches in length a little bit more than two inches in height this piece is cool it's it looks like a drill it's kind of if you see that circular type of thing that elliptical type of thing but then when I put it here it could be something like I don't know I don't know definitely worked um, you could make it into what you see. It could be anywhere from a porcupine to whatever, whatever you can see in it. Whatever your vision allows. But nice piece though. Like this piece is hard to tell, but this is another piece that someone might say, oh, it's just nature made. But when you get a chance to look at it up close, there's a possibility that it's not. And here I start to see images again. I'm seeing a face here, somebody here, but that's me. Possibly worked. Possibly the part, probably. Not definitive. This was interesting. I found this a long time ago. But it has kind of rope inside that's been grown over. I just thought that was interesting. And it's funny, but what I found interesting is this is definitely old, but this material is still intact and hasn't rotted. Yeah. And I did a little researching on Wow from that way. And again, I hadn't, I never really looked at it in this manner before, but now it looks like I see an eye there and an eye there. You know, an image here. And a lot of it is lighting dependent. I don't think it's Paradalia. I think there are literally images there. I think some rocks even have certain types of trapped energy. That made me look into the types of ropes and things from long ago. It's interesting. If anybody's interested. And like I say, the things I show you isn't to say, look this, this is this, and that's that. It's for you to check it out. You know, check it for yourself. Okay, this piece. I had to turn around a few times, and I said, you know what? Strong chances for our car. Maybe natural, but... When I turned it this way, I get my face in this direction with an eye there. Then when I turn it this way, I get a face in that direction. Or I can turn it this way. Not definitively saying. I'll let you decide how you want to take that one. This is another carved crystal. Again, what were the purposes for these crystals? It's so hard to see the carving that it can't just be for artistic purposes. What did it power? What did you put it in to make it go or increase communication? Store memory, images, energy. Or duplicate images.
don't know what this is, but it's worked, and when I held it a certain way, I could get an image out of it. I see the images in it. I see the carvings. Maybe I'll, I'll, queen, I'll clean it up some and show it again. And for now, I'll take back that it's worked to possible. I lean toward, but I don't know. Feels like it. Hmm. My image is kicking regardless. I see a tiger going across. Just kind of the mouth open there. White face. It's another image here. But that's me. Again, don't let nobody tell you what you see or you don't see. Believe your lying eyes be saw some before someone else's half truth. But with me, I'm only gonna tell you what I see. I'm not gonna throw you any half truths. If I say it's gonna be because I believe it. And once again, I guess the, the videos today I'm including all these little things, but I don't do this for subscribers or anything else. I do it to share and just people say, oh, I have one of those and it, you know, it just feeds that, it feeds that interest and that's why I do it. You know, this, like I say, that I'm doing it and you guys are just kind of hanging out with me. This is really cool. This is one of the first rocks I found. And then they start seeing about mud fossil. I say, okay, it could be an organ. I have a little opening here. And in a couple of places. But that's, I mean, it's, it's super, super strong. Pretty. This is pretty cool. Definitely worked. That's that blackish black type of pain or whatever type of stuff it is and you hold it this way you get the small idea the eyebrow the beak there are certain symbols in it with paint and without the images I see some here Definitely a work piece. Some lettering going across. It doesn't look like just random symbols or random letters. Let's see. And if you look at his portable rock art, I think this will fit that classic sense again. You have your face over here and your face over here. Nice piece. Oh, and before I, I always forget to put this one in a video. I want to show it to you while I have it. But this is a nice big piece. Raise this up some. It looks like the bottom of a shovel. It's solid rock, like a green stone or something. But that's the edges, sharp edges. Looks like if you attached a stick to it, it'd make a pretty cool uh, early shovel of some kind. But all of this is carved out, cut out, broken out. This is the back. It almost looks again like it could have been assembly. Assembled, rather. I think it's pretty cool. It has a good size. So about 
nine inches across the front and the back is about three inches or so high nice piece I don't know utilitarian use I would say shovel or it might have had another use someone more familiar might be more aware of as you can see many things it could have been used for some of you out there know not so, definitely know much more than I am sure this piece has been you know there's a few of them out there, so I would guess shovel the way it's made, constructed. Anyway, thank you for tuning in again. I'll talk to you soon.